Hey guys, this is M. Javid with another tutorial whether how we can add customer credit limit in QuickBooks Desktop and increase or decrease it if a customer fails to make his payments on time. Well, sometimes when a customer doesn't make his payments on time, we suddenly start developing concerns whether how the customer will behave regarding his future payments if we keep continuing doing business with him. In such scenario, we put a credit limit on his account so that we can have an idea about the behavior of such customer. Well, in general, credit limit is the amount of the working capital a business can afford if a customer fails to make his payments on time, or in worst case scenario, if he doesn't pay at all, which will then be considered a loss or bad debts. Anyhow, to add a credit limit, let's say add a new customer with as minimum information as possible. So, to add a new customer, Go to the Customer Center and select New Customer under New Customer and Jobs. And here, just write the name of the customer and change the date if you want, or just click on OK. Here you can see that a new fictitious customer named Mark has been added to the list. Now, let's create an invoice. Here, select a customer you want to write an invoice to, and as soon as you will select a customer, you will have a summary about this customer on this side. Anyhow, change the date and invoice number, and fill the invoice with the concerned particulars, and then click on save and close. Now, the invoice has just been recorded. Let's suppose this customer didn't pay on time and took 3 months to clear his payments. So for future reference, we just want to create a credit limit for this customer. Now let's receive and deposit this payment and create a credit limit for this customer. Now click on receive payment. Here select the concerned customer, check mark the invoice you received the payment for, change the date, write the check number and select payment method. and then click on save and close. Now click on record deposit. Here select the payment you want to deposit. Change the date, select the concerned bank account and then click on save and close. And here you can see that the payment has just been deposited. Now let's create a credit limit for this customer. So go to the customer center and after selecting the concerned customer, click on this pencil icon. Here under payment settings tab, write your credit limit here for this customer let's suppose for $50 and then click on OK. Now let's create another invoice and as soon as you will select the fictitious customer named Mark, you will see the credit limit information here we have just created. Now fill an invoice with particulars and click on save and close. And since the invoice was within the provided credit limit, it didn't show any warning. Let's create another one and click on save and close after filling the particulars. And as soon as you will click on save and close, it gives you a warning about the credit limit of this customer. Remember, this warning is just a message that's letting you or your staff know that this customer has a credit limit, which means regarding this customer, you need to be cautious while doing business worth more than $450. Anyhow, let's show some trust and do more business by recording this transaction and then increase the credit limit to $1000 for this customer.
and when you create another invoice for this customer you will see that the credit limit has increased exactly the same way you can decrease the credit limit too so close this transaction without saving it and decrease the credit limit to $300 this time And when you try to create another invoice, it will give you a warning right away that this customer has already a due balance above his credit limit. And at this point in time, it is your discretion whether you want to do more business with this customer or ask him to clear the previous balance first. And this is how you can add customer credit limit in QuickBooks Desktop and increase or decrease it whenever you want to. And if you have stayed this far, Please consider supporting by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.